Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Proverbs chapter 13. This is the Amplified Version. Contrast the upright and the wicked. A wise son heeds and accepts and is the result of his father's discipline and instruction. But a scoffer does not listen to reprimand and does not learn from his errors. From the fruit of his mouth, a wise man enjoys good. But the desire of the treacherous is for violence. The one who guards his mouth, thinking before he speaks, protects his life. The one who opens his lips wide and chatters without thinking comes to ruin. The sole appetite of the lazy person craves and gets nothing. For lethargy overcomes ambition. But the sole appetite of the diligent who works willingly is rich and abundantly supplied. A righteous man hates lies, but a wicked man is loathsome and he acts shamefully. Righteousness being in right standing with God guards the one whose way is blameless. But wickedness undermines and overthrows the sinner. There is one who pretends to be rich, yet has nothing at all. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. The ransom for a man's life is his wealth, but the poor man does not even have to listen to a rebuke or threats from the envious. The light of the righteous within him grows brighter and rejoices. But the lamp of the wicked is a temporary light and goes out. Through pride and presumption come nothing but strife. But skillful and godly wisdom is with those who welcome well-advised counsel. Wealth obtained by fraud dwindles. But he who gathers gradually by honest labor will increase his riches. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when desire is fulfilled, it is a tree of life. Whoever despises the word and counsel of God brings destruction upon himself. But he who reverently fears and respects the commandment of God will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain and source of light, so that one may avoid the snares of death. Good understanding wins favor from others. But the way of the unfaithful is hard, like barren, dry soil. Every prudent and self-disciplined man acts with knowledge. But a close-minded fool who refuses to learn displays his foolishness for all to see. A wicked messenger falls into hardship, but a faithful ambassador brings healing. Poverty and shame will come to him who refuses instruction and discipline. But he who accepts and learns from reproof or censure is honored. Desire realized is sweet to the soul, but it is detestable to fools to turn away from evil, which they have planned. He who walks as a companion with wise men will be wise. But the companions of conceited, dull-witted fools are fools themselves and will experience harm. Adversity pursues sinners, but the consistently upright will be rewarded with prosperity. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the hands of the righteous. Abundant food is in the fallow uncultivated ground of the poor, but without protection it is swept away by injustice. He who withholds the rod of discipline hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines and trains him diligently and appropriately with wisdom and love. The consistently righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite, but the stomach of the wicked is in need of bread. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.